You know what boys? It's been a long, long time, since we laid down the law on all of these wilderness, slayer cowboys. Me and my goons have been so busy protecting the money caves, that there has been a surplus of PVM cowboys who think they got the green light to train Slayer, in our savage streets. And as all of you boys know, doing wilderness Slayer is a crime which is punishable by death. And that's exactly what we are going to bring along today in this spectacular video. Lots, and lots, of death. Wow. Speaking of death. Did you boys just see me clap out that Monkrobe clown for 1 million worth of cannonballs? Talk about a little shat. Speaking of little shats. Take a look at this goon from the CC by the name of Zekelius. This goon hit it big at the sand casino and decided to pay his wilderness tax to each and every goon. Giving us all millions. Maybe even, billions of dollars. But were we thankful boys? Wow. You see boys. The goons are entering the next phase of the prophecy, and we are becoming stronger than ever. And if you don't believe me, then just watch what we do to this PVM with our massive, massive egos. Oh crap brothers, I found a clown. Come world 336. World 336. Hurry up you idiots hurry the hell up. 336 boys. 336 25 is calling. Yes he is TB'd, now slap him down before he gains some Slayer XP in our wilderness. Slap the teeth out of that hilly billy boys. Slap out his teeth. That bashed, nice. Job. Wait, I just did it again. That's what you get for even thinking you were going to just walk around our wilderness and kill our monsters with your fancy little crossbow. Think again Slayer boy, think again. Speaking of people who don't know how to think, take a look at this PVM rich boy by the name of Hidamaniac, who was running around the wilderness with massive bank. Within seconds my goons and I pounced on this rat like a cat in the Varrock sewer, and managed to make off with some massive bank loot. Holy mother of god boys. Why in the hell would you risk this much loot when you are just trying to do some wilderness slayer? It's 100% unnecessary, and it stems, from 100% stupidity. Wow. I wasn't joking when I told you boys that these PVM boys, are extremely unintelligent. Wow. But honestly boys, I can't even blame them. In fact, the majority of these PVM boys probably started playing back in 2009, when the wilderness was already dead. So they never got the chance to experience what it was truly like back in the savage days. But that's why we are here today. We are here, to remind them that coming out here is not safe. Know your place Slayer Boy. Know your place. And that place, is in shitty Lumbridge. Ha 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 wow. Oh crap boys look. We have a Slayer Boy on the run. I'm in pursuit of the cowboy, I repeat. I am in pursuit, of the cowboy. Stop right there Slayer Boy. Your time of committing crime, is over. This fugitive was trying everything he could to not be detained. But the grips of my massive entangle were much too strong for his toothpick legs. I started to slap around this hick so hard that his rotten teeth were falling out of his stinky PVM mouth. Take this you Florida Georgia line hick. And take that. There is nothing you can do now. Gosh dang it dragon. I was just about to slap him back to the Lumbridge shack. Now I have to detain him once again. Come here you PVM outlaw. The time has come for you to meet the lake of fire. Oh my god no way. Are you kidding me Jagex? This criminal did not just get gap on me. But unfortunately he did. His toothpick legs were so thin, that he was able to glide through the wilderness like a gazelle. But I knew that I was going to do whatever it took to take this rat down. Even if it meant running him to the edge, of the wilderness. 
The funny thing about this guy, is that he could have just logged out, but instead he wanted to mock me with his cocky name, and run the entire distance back to the edge of the wilderness, and just when Goblin Boy Mikchat was one step away from exiting the wilderness, I managed to catch him with one last entangle, at the very last second. Watch again in slow motion how I detain this criminal, and then switch to my crossbow, and released a devastating final blow, to the back, of this slayer boy's neck. Ha 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 wow! Thanks for the free 400k slayer boy. I hope you have a fun time running all the way back, from Lumbridge. Holy crap boys that was freaking insane. But not quite as insane as the swift tactical methods that me and my goons applied on this bone smuggling sasquatch of a shat. Who thought he was safe because he had that tanky dings bulwark. Spear him boys spear him. I only had two spears somebody else spear him. Good boys good. We made this bone smuggler walk the plank, straight off the poop deck, into the lake, of fire. Walk the deck you little shat. Walk the damn deck. Now die. Ha 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 wow. That's what happens when you try to smuggle bones in our wilderness. That's exactly what will happen. Wow. Another thing I like to do to these entitled PVM shats is bully them out of their spot, and then steal their kill. Yeah get lost you little vermin. This spot is mine now. Oh and by the way. Thanks for getting the bear stuck for me Timmy boy, I really appreciate it. Who says you need high strength to PVM boys? I'm 75 attack and 55 strength, and I'm slapping this bear around like a lumbridge duck. Alright men let's see what we got. Holy crap, boys. 400k worth of Rana seeds. Wow. I can only imagine how riddled with rage that PVM boy is going to be when he sees the massive bank that I made off of his kill. I then spotted a suspicious pure who was hanging around Callisto and decided to investigate what was going on. I ran past little goblin boy hoping he would skull up and attack me, but he obviously didn't want any smoke. I then ran off in the distance and decided I was going to surprise rush him with the dark bow special attack to the dome, just for being a one defense pure chat. When all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a high level Zezima boy came charging in my direction at lightning speeds. Thinking quick I left off two massive shots to the Zezima boy's dome, followed with another massive dragon bolt, to the face. Completely decimating his massive ego, to dust. Talk about the definition of an ego death right boys? Thinking you're about to slap down a level 97 in full Varax, only to find yourself clapped out and back in Lumbridge in the matter of seconds. I can only imagine the embarrassment. Ha 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 wow! Take a look at the massive bank loot we just made off of those two random clowns. Oh yeah boy. Nearly 10 million coins. That's what I'm talking about. And on that note, always remember, as long as me and my goons are in the wilderness. No goblin boy, is safe.
No matter how much you bitch and cry to the mods on Reddit, no matter how much you vote no on the PvP updates, no matter how much your girlfriend on RuneScape is a man. Ha 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 wow! If you are in the wilderness and haven't paid your wilderness tax, guarantee that the slaps are coming your way. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Wow! Make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Real recognize real boys. Real recognize real. Savage robot army in the house boys. Wow.